Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. I am at a family function today, and here I am kind of interacting with a lot of my relatives, a lot of my cousins, and I suddenly got to know about a lot of things that are kind of going around in the data science ecosystem. So a lot of my cousins, a lot of my relatives reached out to me, and they kind of showed me some courses where the courses are. claiming to make you an ai expert in one day two day etc so there are tons of courses uh, but i was kind of uh, fascinated by how uh, say there's a lot of mis selling happening in data science with respect to making you an ai expert which is where during the event during the family function itself i found some time and i'm kind of recording this video so that i can kind of spread awareness to my audience and to all the people who kind of watch this video as well you might not be my subscriber and if the youtube algorithm kind of decides to make this video go viral then you would kind of look at this particular video as well uh, but the idea is pretty simple right uh, there's a lot of mis selling that's happening in the data science ecosystem uh, yes there have been advances in generative ai uh chat gpt was that cornerstone wherein everything exploded after that but uh, true revolution came in before that uh all the companies that are selling the ai in one day kind of a course not a lot of companies would even understand what a transformer architecture is so i wanted to create a video wherein i kind of help you understand what true ai is what true uh, data science and machine learning is and how you should stay away from say misleading courses so without wasting any further time let's kick start this video first things first ai experts are not prompt engineers okay so let me make it very clear uh, there's a lot of mis selling happening in terms of uh, selling a course wherein the course states that you can become an ai expert in say quick time Uh, by learning about chat gpt fundamentals or by learning about prompt engineering my simple recommendation to you is if you want to understand prompt engineering better you have to become really good with language so if you want to become a successful prompt engineer you have to have good command over language you should know how to articulate your thoughts really well when i say articulate if you want a large language model to perform you say a task x wherein you want to achieve x1 to y1 and if x1 is your input and if you want to achieve y1 how do you clearly state the path from starting from say x1 and reaching y1 is where your language skills come into picture the more you can tweak your language so as to adjust and make the llm understand in terms of what you want to achieve is where the true quality of a good prompt engineer lies okay so this is one thing that i wanted to specify that a prompt engineer is different from an actual ai engineer or an ai master or whatever the names that are being thrown out by companies but the true objective the first thing that i want to clarify is a prompt engineering solution is not an ai driven solution anyone who has good command over language uh, be it english or any other language the large language model has been trained on you are essentially using the llm to get a task done which is where your language skills come into picture and not your ai skills this is the first and the most important point that i wanted to specify to all my viewers out there so that they don't get deceived by the false marketing that's happening the second red flag that i want to highlight is if you ever try to pick up or if you're planning to pick up a course to learn ai you have to look at some modules to get a sense if this course is really about ai or is it about some foundational knowledge of how to run chat gpt or the other llms that are there first things first an ai engineer or say ai in general involves a lot of mathematics if the course curriculum has good amount of mathematics in it if the course curriculum has good amount of python in it if the course curriculum also has some amount of ml ops in it then i think it's a good course based on what you are kind of expecting to learn as well but if the course is mostly about how do i generate a solution how do i look up a google search using a chat gpt module or how do i do x y z things using chat gpt by writing this prompt that course is seriously not an ai expert course 
it's mostly a course to improve your productivity that is something that you can kind of take for granted that these courses will help you identify how you can use chat gpt better but will it make you a good ai expert or will it make you an ai engineer the sad answer is no the other point that i want to specify is if you ask anyone who is doing good in the field of ai ml uh, data science generative ai anyone if you pick anyone who is like really knowledgeable no one will say that they are an ai expert the people who learn so much the people who have kind of reached at different heights people who have accomplished a lot in their life they are too grounded to be called as an expert right so everyone's a student in this field i typically learn every day i don't consider myself an expert i consider myself a student who is learning every day the field is evolving every day if you have to create solutions that are viable for organizations or if you are creating something creative for your use case then technically you're learning every day like if you ask bhavesh of 2019 what say retrieval augmented generation was he would have had no clue right racks became popular very recently which is where now if you ask me what retrieval augmented generation or racks are i'll give you an answer so it's a constant process of upgrading yourself it's a constant process of understanding how the industry is moving the other way that you can understand if a course is good enough uh, in terms of ai even generative ai for that fact of matter uh if you have a call directly with the instructor who is going to teach you about generative ai or any other courses that the instructor is basically selling so in the call that you have if at all you get an opportunity uh ask simply what a transformer network is what is an encoder decoder model what's an encoder only model what's a decoder only model if they are able to answer these basic fundamental questions of say generative ai chat gpt now chat gpt is entirely based on transformers you can ask questions about positional encoding you can ask questions about uh, multi head attention if the instructor is knowledgeable and if they are able to teach you or explain you these concepts then technically that's a good course you can sign up for it based on what the course is but if they are not able to answer these questions then you will kind of get an understanding that this course is not something that really makes you an ai or a generative ai engineer right so stay away from such courses as well now given llms are exploding by the day where everyone started making use of llms for their day to day task uh, you might ask me a simple question if i don't pick up a course how do i learn right well the only way that you can learn is what you've been doing so far that is learning by practice so if you want to become good at prompting that is writing good prompts so that you are able to execute your input x to y kind of a uh, say path in between uh, my recommendation would be to understand how you can write better prompts so there are different frameworks in terms of how you can generate prompts as well so there are different levels of prompt designing that you can kind of refer to uh rather than writing a simple prompt that this is x this is y i want to reach from x to y there are more sophisticated systems that have been designed that what is the action that you want to take how do you want the llm to validate the result that has been generated by the llm itself so there are various say architectures that have been designed in prompts as well you can experiment with those uh you can keep trying you can keep changing words here and there you can change the structure of how you design the prompt as well uh it's often said if you don't fail in a task then you wouldn't learn anything about that task as well so it's okay to fail it's not that you can kind of get the entire solution in one go which is where stick around with that problem try to understand the different ways in which you can kind of create the solution this will help you go a long way in terms of becoming a better prompt engineer now you might ask me a question there aren't a lot of courses that make you an ai expert how do i go about learning ai well i've created tons of videos in terms of what a good road map should look like i'll add those videos in the link in the description of this particular video but if i have to give you like a compressed version of how you can learn ai start with mathematics start with calculus start with linear algebra 
then start with probability i think that is like a paramount topic that you have to cover in order to understand how llms kind of give out the output so if you ever look at the output of a large language model you will have some uh, parameters such as top k top p temperature etc all of these are probability driven so having a good understanding of probability uh, once you're clear with the concepts then pick up a programming language ideally my choice would be python so you can pick up python uh keep learning about how do you deploy models how do you create models first uh, so before deploying i think you should learn how to train models as well uh, pick up languages such as tensorflow or pytorch uh, anything that you are comfortable in understand nlp from basics you should also pay attention to how the overall architectures are different in different models which llm should you pick for a specific task all of these are small little questions that you should kind of try to answer first before you call yourself an ai engineer then once you're very clear with this how do you deploy these models how do you kind of deploy pytorch or tensorflow models into production how do you keep monitoring their responses so these are some small little questions that you should identify and then answer and you are basically on a journey the journey is something that you should pick up on your own there are people who will help you out with good courses and good tutorials on youtube but you have to sit down you have to spend time you have to understand what is good for you and then you have to keep going forward and keep learning every day so this is something that i wanted to give you a glimpse in terms of how you should avoid shady courses in terms of uh, the big claims that they make and yeah if you like the video you can share it across with your friends and people who are kind of in that process of uh, spending that amount of money i would highly recommend people should kind of avoid these courses where the whole objective of the entire organization or the individual is to make money out of uh, this field kind of exploding and not a lot of people knowing what the uh, say you know details of the field are so save your money uh, spend some time researching in terms of how you can kind of create a road map and uh, keep learning keep enjoying what is happening in the entire data science ecosystem and i wish you the very best for your journey going forward uh, i i hope this video was beneficial if it was please share it across with your friends and family and uh, hope to connect with you next time in the next video thank you so much for watching the video